The Liberals fundamentally misunderstand the nature of terrorism. It is not simple thuggery or even organized criminality, as recently alleged by the Minister of Defence. Terror, the likes of which we saw in Paris last fall, is designed to undermine civilization and legitimate systems of government. It has as at its aim the destruction of democracy and the equal treatment of citizens, and the replacement of these values with a brutal and hierarchical system of control, including the sexual enslavement of women and children and the murder of religious minorities and of gays and lesbians. This is an ideology worth fighting with every tool at our disposal. Here, here. Mr. Speaker, for more than a year, our CF-18s have been eliminating ISIS fighting positions and taking out their critical supply lines. Every successful bombing has limited their ability to threaten civilians and has weakened ISIS's capacity. ISIS is now fleeing to countries like Libya because airstrikes have decimated their funding and weapons. ISIS is on the run. Why is the Prime Minister abandoning the fight when our contribution to the airstrikes is so invaluable? We will allocate more resources to train Iraqi security forces. Our goal is to allow local forces to take the fight directly to ISIL to reclaim their homes, land, and future. In addition, we will continue supporting aerial surveillance and refueling activities within the coalition. We will withdraw our six CF-18s, and we will be more significantly involved in counterterrorism measures and improving chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear security in the region.